Unless you've got a heated garage, mine is like a fridge. The frost is everywhere today. Frosty morning. Okay, I'm not sure how well you'll see that because the sun is streaming in very low today. Freezing cold outside, which is uh, why I've purchased this for the winter. Uh, saw it on uh, Stuart Fillingham's channel, the channel I always enjoy. Uh, no nonsense British biking. Well worth a look if you haven't looked already. So thanks for sharing this, Stuart. Um, so it's a uh, Deltran battery tender. Uh, basically, this time of the year, your bike's not being used as much, probably, so it's just sitting there. Still, electric's probably draining something out of the battery. The cold's getting to it, and uh, lead acid batteries don't do very well if you let them uh, drop below 90% for long periods of time, so they don't last forever. If you want to extend your battery life and just make sure your bike's going to start not just the first time but also the second time when you go out, um, one of these might be of use. I'm not advertising it, I've got this purely for myself. So Deltran, which is supposed to be an American company, but if you look at the bottom, it says somewhere on it, made in China. It says on it, oh yeah, look, made in China. So it is Chinese. Very solid, I think they've set it in um, epoxy resin, so it's completely waterproof. The approach I'll be taking, it comes with a set of jump leads if you want, but I should be taking the um, harness approach, where you fix the harness onto your battery and then leave that permanently on the bike and when you want to um, tend to your battery you pull off the uh, cover attach the uh, the other end and just turn it on it's very simple, if it's yellow your battery is on charge, if it's on green your battery is being tended so I think it's about 14.5 volts when it's on yellow and it drops to 13.2 just to keep the battery um, at peak um, capacity. You could leave it on all the time, I'm not going to, I'm going to use it probably a couple of times a week just to keep it charged up. I know some people say oh, I'll start my bike and run it for a bit but it probably doesn't uh, restore the battery um, given that you will have drained quite a lot in starting your engine. So I think it's worth uh, fitting. So I'm going to see if it will fit on the uh, 790, basically. So I don't really want to disconnect the battery, so I'm going to have to try and be a little bit careful with fitting these two connectors to the battery. The reason I don't want to disconnect the battery is because I'm not sure if it will reset things. So uh, I'm going to try and do it, as you shall see, hopefully, without actually ever disconnecting the battery. As always, do not follow what I do. I am... Uh, an ex-village idiot with no village. I do it for myself, and it's my risk. Don't follow me, particularly if you're not confident with electrics. Okay, so basically the idea is that red terminal, negative terminal, either side onto your battery, this fixed onto your frame, somewhere where you can get at least some access to it, and then when you feel like it, you plug that in, plug that into the mains, and it will charge your battery. So without further ado, let's have a look where the battery is on the 790 Adventure. So, as with many things, it's quite a simple job, uh, but you have to be careful. So first off, I'm going to remove the seat, the rear seat, the front seat. So there's the two parts of the seat removed. The next thing to do is to remove this give me access to the battery. As usual it's just a 30 Torx, I even I carry one with me. Most of this bike can be done with a 30 Torx. So you undo that, don't lose the don't lose the round clip that holds the seat on. And the cover comes off and you can get to the battery. I'll just do that. That cover then lifts off and you can see where the battery is. And this bike, your red terminal is on the left, underneath that. Negative terminal is there. They say connect the positive terminal first and the negative. Yeah, you can just lift off the red terminal cover. 
So I'm going to try and undo that um, and fit the fit the harness, the red one on there, and I can see one on there. Hopefully without disconnecting the battery, but I think probably the battery is going to get disconnected. Oh look, there's the ECU connector. I haven't seen that before. Hmm, interesting. If you can see where that eases through there easily. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there is a, a nut on the end of there which falls off when you undo the bolt. So I've used this magnetic holder just to hold it in place so that I can put the nut back in. Um, I'm not sure if I've disconnected the battery at any point there. I tried to hold it on the terminal, but it may well have disconnected. So I may have to reset the clocks and things. We'll find out in a moment. Little tip though, if you've got a magnet, Magnetic uh, bolt holder does help. Bolt holder. Put the bolt back in, or the nut rather, on the end. So, that's the tender connector in place, it's fused, hopefully I can get the cover back on and then start to think about what I'm going to do with this. I might actually take this side panel off, it's easy. I might take this side panel off, it's easy to do just to give myself better access and a clearer look at where I can connect it. You can see that, but the tricky part is that um, push fit there. Always forget that bit. You don't really want to pull the plastic too hard in case you snap it, so it's at the bottom. Okay, it's not the easiest uh, thing to locate on this particular bike, but I've settled on a cable tie here, and another one probably around there, and then a third just to hold it so that it's kind of in that position there so I can access it. Um, without having to touch the bike at all so I'll probably cable tie it in that position and just pull that off plug on the charger as and when required I would say be careful putting your cable ties on that you don't trap any of these other things and that you've got your cable ties simply goes around this one wire and nothing else because there's various control cables and brake cables there so be careful that you don't get something inside this cable tie apart from that the one wire that we want which is that one okay just for full disclosure i've used the cable tie there so the wire comes to there and is fixed behind a second one here it's fixed behind there and then the third one comes around the back it's fixed there be careful that that doesn't fall onto the onto the exhaust here so it should hold okay Okay, so with the plug in position, you can see it's held there. I'm going to put another cable tie on there just to, so that it can't rotate around. Shouldn't do because uh, the exhaust's here. And with that, I should be able to access it to connect the charger. So let's give that a try and see what happens. So you can see I can easily plug in the tender cable there and uh, plug it on and you'll see I've got an amber light what that means is that it's charging the battery so it's probably putting about 14.5 volts into the battery when I measured it last night when it feels that the battery is at uh, charge it will drop to 13.2 
and hold it on a um, constant uh, voltage just to keep the battery permanently topped up. It's just what you need in this weather. Codger Biker is out. Amber, uh, after it's been quickly started, I do think the KTM um, 790 Adventure alternate is very good actually. But uh, there you go, to one start we go to Amber, leave it for a few minutes till it goes green, and take it off. Ideal for these cold winter days when you're bored. <laughs> 